devastation and heartbreak as you saw parts of historic Lahaina town destroyed as wind-whipped wildfires continue to rage. At least six people have been killed, dozens more injured, some with critical burn injuries, and officials are still conducting search and rescues. A flyover today showed more than 271 structures have been either damaged or destroyed. Thousands of people have been evacuated, including tourists who were flown to Oahu. The Hawaii Convention Center has been set up as an emergency shelter off-island. The officials are urging against non-essential travel to Maui at this time. Now, with all roads leading into Lahaina closed for safety reasons, the only way to reach that part of Maui is by boat. Bridget Namata did just that and shows us the aftermath of the deadly, powerful winds. Guys, never have I ever seen anything like that before. An entire town just gone. We took a boat from Ma'alaya to Lahaina, and the boat captain told us that ocean conditions today were very unusual. Windy, choppy, two to four foot seas. Doesn't really happen on the leeward side of the Valley Isle. And then once you reach Lahaina, unbelievable. What once was a colorful stretch of gorgeous 19th century architecture is no more. A smoky landscape, the ruins of beautiful historic Lahaina. The Coast Guard scanning the seas from Ka'anapali to Lahaina in search of survivors and sending out a message to all able boaters. The Coast Guard is enacting a it's one thing to watch the videos. It's another to actually see it with your own two eyes. I feel like I'm looking at a war zone. Beautiful, historic Lahaina town reduced to a crisp. We are about a quarter mile away from shore. There's nowhere to dock because Lahaina Boat Harbor is gone. And even from this distance, the air quality is so bad, it smells like you're in the thick of it. Palm trees burnt, no longer swaying with the wind, buildings still on fire. This is gone, line is gone. There's nothing left. Birds. I can't even tell you the sights. We are going to need help. And we're going to come together and just piece by piece, you know, make, put it back. What we can. Helicopters are fighting the strong winds to drop much needed water down below. You see those four trees? That's where the docks used to be and the harbor master office. It is still standing, but directly behind that was the historic Pioneer Inn, and that's completely gone. This photo of Pioneer Inn was taken just last week. The building built in 1901 is reduced to rubble. Other Lahaina hotels have evacuated guests, leaving thousands at Kahului Airport without their belongings and without a taste of charming Lahaina. We landed here yesterday and all we have is the clothes on our backs and we don't know what is going to happen next. Here's the part that gets me, I think, is that we had no clue when we left yesterday that we were driving through this historical, beautiful tourist area and that would be the last time that we would see that or have the opportunity to experience that. Whether you're religious or not, one site sticks out amid this desolate landscape. A church is still standing. It may be a sign of hope for the future of this historic town, but we are a long ways away from that. Now, sadly, some Maui residents that we spoke to say they still have not heard back from their loved ones, and they're still holding out hope that they're found safe and sound. Reporting live on Maui, Bridget Namata sending it back to you.